The Monsters. I can't help but enjoy this movie series. Well, technically I should say television series. Let's take a look at what we got here. So here's the box. Pretty nice. I love this TV show, and it really is really good Americana. Not only that, but also really good just fun. It actually comes also with two full-length movies. There are more out there if you can find them. But it has Monsters Go Home, Monsters Revenge, and quite a few uh, bonus content along with the entire series here. And there's a lot to take in. And even though this was a black and white show, it was well worth your time and energy. And we're going to take it out real quick to show off as well, just for the hell of it. So let's look here. So first off, here's season one. It's all the discs and stuff, everything there. And we have a lot of content, all 38 season one episodes on six discs. These are about 25 minute long episodes, so that is a lot of data and a lot of episodes and stuff. And we have the unaired pilot and quite a few other things. So, you know, it's uh, one of the episodes actually here is in color. Family Portrait, episode in full color. We also have season two right here, which is pretty nice. And this is the one with all of the additional features, the two movies and a lot of other special features. There's so much here, so much to do. So, why do I love the monsters? Well, they're just all that kind of greatness. I mean, all you have to do here is look at this portrait. You have Mon you have Herman Munster, the, uh, the breadwinner of the family, the guy who's in charge. He's basically Frankenstein. You have his wife here, who, by the way, the actress is actually a pretty major film actress. And she's a cross between, you know, Count Dracula's daughter or bride and, you know... Um, Miss Frankenstein, you know. We have their son right here, Eddie Monster, who is a werewolf. He, he actually has quite a few. We have uh, Marilyn here, who is actually the only normal one. She's normal by our standards, but is kind of admirable for the family. But she has this uh, Marilyn Monroe thing going on, which is cool. And then, of course, you have Grandpa right here, the Count Dracula character. And he's actually the fun, inventive unique sort of misadventure kind of character and also there are times he butts heads with Herman but he's also a good friend to Herman too now how does this be different from say like the Adams family because they were on pretty much at the same time well the first major difference is is that the Adams they really were played by their differences they they played that they were this extremely scary weird but good-natured family who looked at everybody as being very very weird there was nothing really true too normal about them and we saw that with everything yet if you go to the monsters it's quite the opposite they played it straight and that's great now they do have some monster elements here the way the house is set up their own appearance and stuff and a few other things but here's the thing they aren't eating blood bread or any of that kind of junk or this kind of stuff they actually well they do eat some of that kind of stuff but they do have like they go pumpkin pie turkey they'll eat normal food they, they won't look at it as weird they they enjoy americana they will go play baseball herman is actually a world war ii veteran and it's it's funny he's like there's one entire episode and this actually is one of my best my favorite episodes the episode starts with him you know watching tv and of course he's he's you'll find out a little later why what's going on and he sees all these advertisements for foods and he goes a little nuts he's He's hungry, He's and he goes right through the house and things, and even through a couple of walls. It's funny and hilarious. And eventually, he makes it to this family's home, and they're having a Thanksgiving dinner, and eventually you hear a, you know, a voiceover from a hermit. Now you're probably wondering what's going on. And the rest of the episode is leading up to this point, and we find out Herman wants to go to a reunion for his squad that was in the war. And he even makes funny jokes about, yeah, I mean, all I had to do was stand up and most of the enemies would go running. Then again, some of our own guys did too. It, it's that kind of straight, funny horror and just funny storytelling. And yet the whole episode is him trying to lose the weight to fit back into the uniform. And it's getting hilarious because he's like, he's eating a bean, a little bit of salt and maybe some water. And that's, you know working him out for the whole day 
but then Grandpa reminds him, and he's like a couple of days away from the actual reunion. And what happens? They, uh, <laughs> they, um, Grandpa's like, "You're never gonna make it." And we find out Thanksgiving is literally the next day, and Herman is just being tormented with, and pumpkin pie. And I'm like, what the pumpkin pie? You, you'd have to see it. I love the way these guys played it so damn well in this season, in this episode, and it's played so straight, and yet it's so funny. And then the little catch at the end. I won't spoil it. And remember, that's just one episode. And they did it all this all this other stuff and it was so perfectly done and i love that they're all real people they're, they're monsters yes but they are real people they have real thoughts and all this other great stuff and it works so well for for their characters and it's done so good now the whole series is like this in the season two they got a little more slapstick Sometimes they'll use camera tricks where they speed people up to show normal people running away in a quick hurry and a few other things. The shows are great, and I actually do watch them from time to time just to have a quick laugh, to enjoy them. I don't care that they're in black and white. I don't care they're on DVD. I just want to watch the monsters and have fun. And the movies were actually really good, too. And you have to realize they have these great cars, these great designs, the house, the spot, the dragon thereof. Uh, their pet and stuff, and even their their address, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. That that's great, and you know they even they even make little jokes about the weather. Oh, the, oh it's gloomy outside. What a wonderful day, kind of like the Adams. But in their case, they they don't get upset when they go out into normal weather either. They're like, oh, it's gloomy. No, no, they're not Morticia Adams, and. It's done so well. There's such a straightness there. And yet, they're still so Americana, too. They're like, you know, ha, 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 yeah. Herman, in fact, works at a mortuary and stuff. So this is actually pretty cool. And there are so many great episodes. They even talk with their neighbors, by the way, too. There are funny things that happen, like with potions. There was a love potion that went nuts for a little while. And I think a couple of the characters got infected. Not a fun experience, by the way. It just works so bloody well. And it does, too. And it's really nice. Now, the show, even though it lasts only two seasons, and they did a couple of movies, the show eventually, back in the 80s, was turned into another show, The Monsters Return, which was a colorized... Um, well, not really. It was a whole new cast. And I liked it. I actually watched it. I haven't been able to find it on DVD or Blu-ray. I haven't been able to find this on Blu-ray. I really would like to have it remastered for that. Just just for the hell of it. Um, and that was actually a good show. I don't remember how many seasons it was. I did check out a little bit on it. And I know that there are a couple of other movies, including this one that's uh, a little more modern, where they actually come from the old country and stuff. And we meet Herman's sister, who is, of course, um, Mrs. Mrs. Frankenstein, the Bride of Frankenstein, which is hilarious, um, and so many other things that they did, and it works so very well. The movies are great. Now, I did find out that they did make a, they did attempt to make a more modern monsters, which was called uh, 1313 Mockingbird Lane. I've seen some of the footage. I haven't been able to find even that special episode they did, which is a shame. I would like to actually see it. I didn't even know about it, which is a shame. I would think something like that would be awesome. People would want to watch that. And, and it is true. And at the moment, um, people are trying to figure out a way to bring them back. To adapt a new generation and stuff. And I can understand. Right now, animation is looking like the most likely way. The show has such great characters. Not just the monsters, but they also have returning characters who know them, work with them, and do certain things. And it works so well. There's the great storylines. You can also take from the 1980s show and all this other cool stuff. And it's so good. It is so freaking good. I know that people like this show. And I was actually pretty happy to find the entire series on, uh, on DVD here. So I actually was pretty happy about this. And this was the version I bought. It wasn't the cheapest. It wasn't the most expensive. It is uh, used. But you know what? I don't care. I have the monsters. I can watch the show whenever I want now. 
Thank God for that. I don't even have to worry about streaming problems. So, definitely worth the investment. And we don't know what the future holds for the monsters, which is, I hate to say it, the only problem right now. We don't know if there's going to be anything new. And that might be best with the way the world is right now. Mostly I'm talking about how they would try to turn certain characters certain ways. Who knows? But either way, it is a good show. It's a 9 out of 10 for this show. I highly recommend it. Check it out for yourself. And see if there's some shows on YouTube. I'll, I'll check it out myself, too. I know Adam's Family is on YouTube. You can actually watch the episodes individually if you want. Which is cool. There's a lot of good Adam's Family. And the animated movie will be getting a sequel, we found it, probably in 2021, if everything works out. So, that's another good one. The thing is, I just don't know which Adam's Family to review. I have uh, both of the original theatrical live-action films and the animated film. And I like them the way they are. It's pretty cool. I know they did do, a, I think, a made-for-TV version. But I liked the original films and this animated one. And it's pretty good. I do recommend them, and they are fun. So, guys, hit the bell, like, all that good stuff, notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Happy Halloween. And remember, they even used the monster theme for that Uma Thurman song from Fallout Boy. Hey, if it works, it works. Na, 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 na